Hello guys, uh, welcome to the session of New World of Dynamic CRM. Uh, today I am going to talk about parent-child cases in Dynamic CRM. Uh, this feature came in uh, Dynamic CRM version 2013 service pack 1. And uh, this feature allows you to uh, create a parent-child relationship between uh, uh, two cases. Uh, relationship not exactly in terms of dynamic CRM relationship but essentially you can link two cases as a parent child and uh, when you do so uh, they show certain behavior so for instance when you create any child case to a parent uh, the child case inherits uh, certain features from the parent certain field values from the parent um, similarly uh, if if two cases are parent child then um, uh, what is the effect of closing parent on the child and what is the effect of closing child on the parent those behaviors you can define and uh, into into your system so it's very interesting topic very useful uh, we'll go and talk about that and see how it fits into business context uh, but before we go further into that um, I have one uh, requirement from the audience uh, the people who are using this module uh, please make sure that you have the basic understanding of dynamic CRM 2011 or or any any higher version uh, especially I'm looking for if you have uh, navigational experience with dynamic CRM and you know how to configure the entities form workflows those typical out-of-box configurations uh, then this module will be very useful and easy to understand for you so let's start with uh, certain business scenarios we'll typically discuss two business scenarios here and see that uh, how this parent child kind of relationship makes sense in those scenarios so first let's go to uh, scenario number one so there is a company uh, which works in a, one of the cities and they provide uh, electricity services to the uh, to the city uh, and uh, one day in some area there was some uh, electricity outrage there was no electricity and then one of the citizen calls up the call center to say that hey uh, uh, there is no electricity in my area or in my society and then this call center agent will simply go and create a ticket uh, so that someone can go and fix the problem for this area since it is affecting an area what happens that another citizen from the same area calls in and says that hey again in that area there is no electricity now if you look at the scenario uh, both of both of uh, these customers or citizens are talking about the same problem since they belong to the same area both are facing electricity uh, outrage problem and and they are complain, complaining about it now this agent here uh, using a pi child uh, parent child relationship can go and create a, a child case uh, which is essentially uh, another case but we say that this case is linked to the previous case um, because both talk about the uh, talk about the same problem um, so essentially both customer are talking about the same same issue at the end of day uh, so in such scenario you can go and create a child case to the to the first case and then uh, in terms of behavior uh, when your your parent case is closed that means your first case is closed the second case will get closed automatically uh, because anyway when the when the electricity is restored in that area uh, problem is solved for the second person as well so essentially this is one scenario of a, of, of a parent child case uh, where uh, more than one people are complaining about same same problem and in that case you can have this kind of parent child linkage and uh, you can have a behavior configuration where if the parent is closed close all the child cases because their problem is also solved this is one scenario another scenario where there is a customer who is calling a bank and saying you know what please close my close my account so the front office will go or a call center will go and uh, put a ticket for closing the account but just closing the account is not sufficient there are, there are many other dependencies many other things has to be completed to logically close the account so to do so uh, what happens is that uh, this uh, call center guy will go ahead and create another ticket 
another child ticket with another department saying oh, why don't we why don't you go close the credit card link to this particular account uh, then you send another ticket to uh, uh, some recurring department saying you close the recurring accounting uh, rec recurring account which is linked to this particular uh, uh, account of the customer and then it also uh, creates a ticket for the loan department saying uh, your loan payment is linked to this account you should go and update the loan um, loan uh, account information so essentially you see that this closing of ticket itself is not sufficient unless we complete these three dependent thing or child activities or child um, uh, tickets you cannot actually close uh, the account so this is another a very typical example of parent and child relationship between the between the between the tickets where um, uh, you know uh, closing a parent ticket depends on closing of all the child tickets so in this case you can configure a behavior that when my credit uh, card account is closed my recurring um, uh, account is closed and my when my loan information is updated actually then only you can go and close the account unless these three child cases are not closed you cannot uh, you cannot close the parent account or, or, or the main account so essentially these are the two typical behaviors you see in the parent child relationship i'm sure you can see many other examples like this um, the one main difference between these two behaviors or scenarios was in first case uh, we as we were uh, was a scenario where when you close the parent the child account gets closed uh, in the in the second scenario we are enforcing that unless the child accounts are closed you can't go and close the parent okay uh, so this was what uh, this is what parent child relations is all about in dynamic crm this was a, a kind of business scenario uh, to explain that behavior now if you go and see that how this how this can be configured and what can be configured uh, so essentially um, you can create a case and link it to uh, uh, another case as a child case uh, so you can have uh, two cases linked to each other as a parent and child um, when you create a child case it can inherit certain field values from the parents so whatever value configure those value it will simply uh, copy from the uh, from the parent values you can define closure rules um, and we just saw the example of closure rules earlier in those two scenarios the first closure rule is that um, when the parent case is closed uh, close all the child cases second close uh, closure rule is that when um, you know when unless all the child cases are closed you can't close the parent so uh, what we are going to do now uh, uh, this was a, a very short summary about what this parent child relationship is all about in dynamic crm uh, it's not exactly relationship i use that word very frequently but it's more of a linking of uh, a parent and child um, so uh, what next we are going to do is that we are going to show uh, see in dynamic crm that how exactly it works so to do so i will i will go and open the uh, CRM. So I'm using the default instance, which comes with Dynamic CRM uh, online. Um, so here, the first thing you do is that you have to go and configure the parent-child um, linking or setting. So to do so, you have to come to the settings. In setting, you have services. Uh, you have a service management, and then in service management, you can go and click on this uh, parent-child case setting. So when you click on that. A pop-up will come like this. <clears throat> so the first thing you set is that you define the inheritance. That means when I create a child case, what field it should simply copy from the parent. It has already got case title and customer over here. So uh, let's uh, let's add few more things over here. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to add a description. So since it's the same type of problem, actually I don't want to. Um, retype the description information and then um, I want to do one more thing I will copy the subject as well and why subject because uh, 
uh my routing of the queue uh, routing of the tickets in the queue depends on the subject so uh, why to retype it again because the same problem you're talking about so i i just added two more fields to the um, out of box configuration which comes now in the bottom you see you can define the closure preference well you do have choice to say i don't have any preference that means uh, the way you close any case you simply go and close the parent and child okay they are their closure is not dependent on each other but you can also go for a closure preference or closure rule uh, the first rule is uh, the what we saw in scenario when uh, one where we say <clears throat> that uh, you know close all the child cases when the parent is closed and second is uh, don't allow to close the parent unless all childs are closed okay i will take the scenario number 1 and i, I to leave it to you to to do by yourself so uh, i go and simply uh, save it the setting and once the setting is done actually i can go and test it so uh, let me go and create a first case okay so i created a new case and uh, here we got it okay uh let's me select a customer first i say okay let's uh, this came from adventure box okay i'm using default instance and all default data you see here title is um, no electric city and let me for sake of demo put this as a parent okay so that we can we can see the visually things um subject uh, i have extended subject to add one more node to it call uh, no electricity just for the sake of demo description i said uh, there there is no electric city in reading area reading area okay and then i simply save and close it so you can see um, my my parent case is created that is no electricity now let's simulate a case where the second person is calling right so when the second person is calling i am going to create a new case again at this point of time um again uh, i am a different customer so some winery is calling okay fair enough uh, let's give a case title it's a mandatory field so say okay no electric city but this time i'm just adding a child uh, text over here for for the information purpose then i'm not selecting anything like i'm subject and description i'm not selecting at all they are not mandatory i'm not selecting it and i want to show that how it's going to read it from the parent value uh, through inheritance but to make a child i have to go to this additional details over here and there i need to select the parent child parent case so i say no electric city and hopefully it will find it yeah here we go it so there's no electricity yeah so there are two parents let me select this one okay and then looks like i have done demo earlier as well so that's it so i i, I go save and close it uh when i save and close it my child is created uh, you can see my child is created so first let's go and verify whether a uh, child is has inherited those two other field values or not so when i open it again you can see it has got subject as no electricity and this description i can very well can go and modify that nothing is stopping me but the whole idea is that whatever value in, you don't want to read type between child and parent that you can configure as a as a uh, inherited value okay now let's go back to the cases again i want to see the parent so i go and see the parent over here um and then uh, if i come down a below um in this section case relationship you see uh, you have child cases so there is a additional subgrid which talks about uh, what are child cases to this parent and this is uh, uh, this is kind of information to you saying that this case is linked to how many child cases okay so now what i what i'm going to do that i'm going to test my closure rule so i'll go and uh, 
resolve this case and I'll assume that it will also go and resolve my child case uh, using that configuration. So I simply go here and say uh, resolve the case. Uh, it should ask for a resolution reason. Come on. Let me do one more time. Sometime. Yeah, let me open one more time. Sorry, guys. Um, few things sometime are beyond explanation. <coughs> okay, let me uh, click on resolve the case. Yeah opens I say okay electricity restored okay and I resolve it so I resolve my parent case you can see it's it's resolved it becomes inactive for me I go to my cases and if I go to my resolved cases over here you find that both your parent and child you can see over here are uh, from adventure works the parent and the child uh, from the winery both are both are closed by that rule so this was one of the example uh, <coughs> uh, i showed you you can try the other closer rules and some other field combinations over here uh, this is a very useful feature of dynamic crm um, i have used this in many of my implementation many of my implementation and trust me if this feature were not there uh, implementing this kind of customization is is a very costly affair is is a very development in, um, intensive thing so thanks to microsoft for this uh, and thank you very much for watching this video um, uh, sorry for this small uh, issue in between uh, which i don't know happened because of uh, network uh, issue um, so please subscribe to my video and i i promise to keep coming with uh, nice and cool videos uh, which could be a great help to you thank you very much thanks bye bye